Welcome to new section of Pies Park installation. In this video we are going to set up environment variables to execute Pies Park. Before we set up environment variables, we need to add one more binary to our Spark Hadoop folder. The binary winutils.exe is required so that Hadoop can deal with Windows NTFS file system. Go to Google and type Steve Logren, WinUtils. You will get search result from GitHub saying Windows binary for Hadoop. Open the link and look for Hadoop 2.6 binary. Remember we have installed pre-compiled binaries for Spark 2.3.3 and Hadoop 2.6. If your Hadoop version is different, look for relevant Hadoop build. It is highly recommended that you follow the same set of binaries used in the course. Click on Hadoop 2.6 forward slash bin link. New page will open. Locate wintutils.exe file. Download winutils.exe file. Now navigate to use Spark Hadoop folder and click the bin folder within. Paste winutils.exe file there. Now we are ready to set up the environment variables to enable Windows locate relevant Pies Park binaries. Type environment variables in search window. This will open up System Properties dialog box. Click on Environment Variables. Under the User Variables section, click on New. This will open up another dialog asking for variable name and variable value. Type Spark underscore Home in variable name. and type path to our Spark Hadoop root directory. In my case it is h colon training. Pi Spark. Spark underscore installation. Spark 2.3.3 bin Hadoop 2.6. Then click OK. Now you can see that Spark underscore home variable is present under user variable dialog. Similarly, click New again and type Hadoop underscore home under variable name and add path to our Spark Hadoop root directory in value section. If you notice, the paths to Spark underscore home and Hadoop underscore home are the same. Click OK to create new variable with value. Now finally, go to Path. Click on Edit tab. And to variable value, add the path to use Spark Hadoop bin folder as shown. Click OK and then again OK. Now open a new command prompt window. Type Pies Park and hit Enter. When you see the console as shown in figure, your Pies Park environment is up and running. Congratulations! Now we are ready to execute our Spark codes. If you want to use Jupyter Notebook, which we will be using quite often in this course, then we need to tell Windows to start Pies Park with Jupyter Notebook instead of starting in console. Go again to Environment Variables. Hit new tab and enter variable name as pies park underscore driver underscore python underscore opts. And in values enter notebook. Click OK. Hit the new tab again and enter variable name as pies park underscore driver underscore python. And in values enter Jupyter. Since we have installed Anaconda, Jupyter is natively installed. So, we should be able to invoke Jupyter Notebook with this setup. 
Go to new command prompt. Enter Pi's Park again. You will see that Jupyter Notebook has started and will open in your default browser. This brings us to the end of this video. In the next video we will do a small setup and then we are done to work with Pi's Park environment. See you in the next video.